Gizmo. I travel up to San Francisco to deal with one of the most unpredictably aggressive cats of the season. Gizmo would bite people, bite us. Uh, she would come up to us only when she wanted to, and then if you wanted to pet her, she would usually lash out at you and bite you. She was tearing this house up like we've never seen. She freaked out over we don't know what. Uh, she ran around the house. We have a turtle, and uh, she actually sprawled her legs out in front of the, on the turtle uh, tank and pooped in it. These guys wanted to start a family, and Adam was going to euthanize Gizmo in order to make that family happen. Euthanasia was a very sensitive topic. She's like one of her family members, so um, it was a concern because we didn't know about our future with her and if she would attack our future children or... So we didn't want to put her, our pet down, but if we had to, we would. Gizmo was so unpredictable that he had no relationship with her anymore. So we really had to start from the bottom and work up. I wanted you to go to the vet. What happened at the vet? Uh, well, they recommended that we put her on a uh, antidepressant or anxiety medication um, for short term to see how it would affect her. We got to show her that the world is a safe place. And so that's why the, the first big piece of homework was to get her on the proper medication because as long as the world is screaming at her, she's gonna scream back. A medication we weren't too, um, I guess, on board with, right? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really like the medication, but it actually really helped her. Jackson calls it um, the Kitty Prozac. I really want you guys to X all forms of punishment. No more of the oven mitts, no spray bottles, no nothing. The water bottle, I could, you know, I can see that making. Yeah, that was obvious. It's obvious. I mean, no one wants to be spraying water all the time, even a cat. So we kind of expected those to change. We just didn't know what to do at the time. That's why we used to do certain things, because sometimes the internet, you know, tells you to do things that aren't probably the best. This place needs to be catified. Catify the house, especially the living room, which is empty. I want to see her getting up on something and finding at what point she feels safe. Was making sure that not only was it not a dangerous place for her, but it was a destination. Every room was a place to go and explore. All the furniture she got really has improved all every aspect of uh, Gizmo behavior. We have like uh, a window thing where she sits in some days. She wants to get away, she goes on her shelves. Also, playtime, and that was the biggest payoff. And Adam and Samantha found that, oh my, Gizmo plays. And not only does Gizmo play, Gizmo played more than any cat of this season. Definitely more cuddly, yeah. more, more lovable. And I think all these changes, everything from Jackson, has definitely changed her life, our life, the family. Adam has no question whatsoever that they can start a family now knowing that Gizmo is a part of that family and not a hindrance to starting one. It brought Adam closer to Gizmo, so they have a very good relationship now, so we're happy about that. Okay. She's a total daddy's girl, so now them two have their own little thing going on. Because Samantha and Adam executed their homework so well, not only are they able to start a family, but they saved a cat's life. They saved Gizmo's life. I don't know, there's not really anything you could say to a man that has really changed your life. No, I'd just be happy to, to say thank you. He saved uh, Gizmo and Adam's relationship. Adam and Samantha, let me tell you something. Why I do this work is to keep cats out of shelters, to keep them from getting euthanized in shelters. You guys were teetering on the brink of euthanizing your cat, and now you've got the payoff. You can start a family with her in the house. Congratulations, guys. You deserve this.